Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy here, also known as Demon Freak in the O-Game community. And here it is, finally the long-awaited episode 10 of the O-Game Turtle Defense in IO, Pegasus and now in Tarazet. You know, I've been swifting, shifting universes all along this time and who knows where it ends, I have no idea. But I just keep on building because, yeah, why not, you know? Okay, so today it's like November 23, 2021 and my last video dates back already from April uh, the 11th. So it's actually longer than a half year ago that I updated uh, this video or actually uh, the information about uh, the turtle defense. Now I have two uh, screenshots here, one here. This one shows the uh, defense I had in April. As you can see, the date was here, 10 4 10-4. 10-4, okay, 10-4, uh, 2021. You know, for the non-American viewers, this is the European date note, so this is not 4 October. Uh, 10 April 2021, and this was the current defense I had, so... Yeah, a lot of stuff uh, there, I mean even more plasmas and on this screen it shows basically the amount of dead stars that I also was working on. Now back in the day I remembered that I also said that I would be working on the dead stars and I did, I actually did and not only that. Let's go back to this screen uh, because I have like Tata Z here uh, in front of me so I can show you this uh, directly next to each other. This is this the yeah okay so let me let me make this a little bit smaller and let's see if we can put this next to each other so we open up Tara Z and let's compare so this is Tara Z I'm still here wow building rocket launchers <laughs> okay before I'm going into that I'm going also to say is that I have changed uh, some things in the planets uh, on planet 15. Now what is the case is like, you know, if you are on planet 15, you pr produce a lot of the cherry. But if you want to use uh, solar satellites, it's like, uh, you know, a disaster by itself. And it took me a long time to realize actually that with the proper research uh, energy technology, I put it now to 20, and a combination of fusion reactor, that you need a, le a lot less fields than when you're using just old-fashioned solar plants. Okay, I still have them for you know the energy, but look at the difference. I have a solar plant 31 over here and a fusion 22. And if you check the resource settings, today please, thank you. So the solar plant gives me 11,900 energy and the fusion reactor here gives me like 80, uh, 9000 energy which I definitely require because if I will have to put like the crawlers you know on maximum and also put this level on maximum yeah you need that energy for the maximum amount of production on that particular planet and that gives me on this planet alone here a let's say daily production of 8.9 million deuterium so that I have been changing also for the other planets, I have here another planet 15 and then another planet 14. And for the rest, uh, the other planets, they have still mostly solar plants. But okay, that's not uh, where we are here for. We are here for the defense. And for that we are going to the planet called Xanadu. And well, let's not uh, get around the bush and let's show it and uh, let's see what we have. So clicking defense, what we have here. This is the current situation as of now. Now let's get this uh, view and let's compare. Now let's see how can I put this next to each other. Would be nice, would be interesting. So this is, let me zoom in this a little bit. Yeah, something like that. I can work with this. Oh, now it zooms out. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Now look, ah, okay. So as you can see, we have a little bit more rocket launches about 2 million no 1.2 million now i built a lot of more uh, small lasers yes that's the thing i did i built like 3 million more small lasers which is like a lot of fodder extra because i noticed also that you know in the universe we have also big fleets flying around and also players with a lot of light fighters 
you know, they have their own fodder, of course, and dead stars, you know, which I also have, uh, would not cut it. And that was the reason for me to add more fodder as well. And in the future, I will add more of this stuff as well. Also, not only dead stars, because with the, you know, with the presence of uh, like uh, tens, 20, 30, or even 40 million or even more light fighters, yeah, this is uh, going to be tricky in the, in the long run, especially since there was also a change about the possibility that even one light fighter could destroy a Death Star. I, I'm not 100% sure about that, but probably you guys know something about that. But I know that there is that possibility. Anyway, uh, I keep on building with this stuff anyway. Even heavy lasers, yeah, probably, I don't know, probably I was half asleep that I built those things as well, because heavy lasers are actually relatively useful, useless against small lasers in large quantities. Well, I mean, of course these are stronger, but yeah, it, it just takes four of these to get one of these, and if you simulate both of them, for example, you take 10,000 of these small lasers against 10,000 light fighters, or you take two and a half thousand of these against 10,000 light fighters, then you will see that the 10,000 small lasers will, uh, well, kick ass the uh, light fighters and the heavy lasers will all lose, for example. Of course, there are multiple uh, fleet uh, options uh, possible, so. But I believe that the small laser is more effective. And besides, I just need the, the fodder anyway. And my production cannot keep up with a constant flow of high heavy lasers anyway. So yeah, that's why I will keep on going using small lasers. Now if my production will exceed the amount of uh, uh, a constant Q I can maintain in heavy lasers, yeah, then I will switch to heavy lasers. That is when, you know, my production can go on and on the shipyard and I can continuously go on with these because both of these take only one second to build. Now, also I did build a few Gauss cannons, mm, only 30,000, that's not that much. Iron cannons, yeah, also, how much more is that? It's like 70,000 more. Plasmas, on the other hand, I did uh, add a little bit more because uh, even though the bomber got like the rapid fire against the plasma cannon, the bomber is actually a, a, a type of vessel that is not that much used by uh, fleeters. Fleeters are, you know, they tend to use more like the destroyers and the battle cruisers because they are going after fleet and if they are going after a defense then they usually use dead stars now dead stars on the other hand yeah they are um you know, dead stars are practically uh yeah useless uh, against this stuff because if we are clicking this thing away this is the old one and we open up this one and we see like this is the amount of dead stars i had in april so I was nearing 7,000, as you can see, 7,000 of these. Oh, here we go again, making it bigger. And some other fleet as well. And currently we have like, check it out, fleet, 9,010. So it's over 9,000! What 9,000? Vegeta quote. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. For the rest, uh, what else can I say? Uh, I built also a few battle cruisers um, because I thought, like you know, the Death Stars are relatively small, and I want to expand the battle cruiser fleet also to do a little bit of counter measurements if that is needed. Uh, build a few more uh, cargoes for transportation because the amounts are cre increased. And yeah, what else to say? Um, that is basically it, uh, guys. It's not like, you know, science work. It's just building the fence. Um, I don't know even back here. Was I still in Pegasus? I, I, can, can I see that? Uh, 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 I cannot see it here. Is it Pegasus here or? Well, anyway, we switched uh, from Pegasus to, uh, I click this away. We switched from Pegasus to Tarazet 
It's also not visible here, right? No, it is not. Overview. Jeez, does this not even show in which universe you are? <laughs> um, um, well, apparently, apparently not, or my eyes are not working. Could also be the case. Um, yeah, high score. You know, let's just check that out for the funsies. Now we see like I'm 38, I'm dangling around here. So with 227 million regular points, I'm not even that of a top player. Which uh, are these two guys. Uh, these two guys, by the way, I know. You know, Caddy is like the former alliance I was in uh, when I was in Pegasus. And um, yeah, you know, I still keep good contacts uh, with, uh, with Ace. Uh, military, on the other hand. There I am in the top uh, 10. I am ranked 6 here with um, some... How much ships? Not 5 million? No, come on. 174,000. Yeah, most of them are like the, the Dead Stars, of course. And yeah, well, what what will it change? I don't know. Um, I'm now in the alliance called Pixels. Very uh, quite, uh, you know, nice alliance to be in. Great guys, casual sap, holy buckets, and the, and the others which I am uh, with. Uh, yeah, very uh, matured alliance, matured people. I like that, you know, honorable people. And most of these guys, by the way, these uh, which are here, even in the top uh, 10, those are honor honorable guys. You know, not the guys that are like, uh, you know, making other guys, you know, other players, uh, their lives miserable or something like that. It's just, you know, Play the game as it, uh, you know, as it should be. But we are all waiting for a next merger because look at this. I mean, it's so sad to see this. It's like you know, place 38 of 264. And yeah, to be very honest, I don't know why GameForge does not, you know, just dump all these universes together. But okay, that's my opinion. You know, uh, they have to do what they have to do, but. I remember the day when I started playing this game all the way back in 2005 that we had like you know a universe completely and on the Dutch server by the way in universe 2 um, we had like 12,000 players and the whole universe was like chock a block you had to fight for a spot you know to colonize <laughs> and those days are long time gone so guys, that, uh, that is it. That is the uh, actual uh, current uh, situation right now regarding the defense. And I'm building some rocket launchers. I'm saving up some resources for more defense. Some more um, Death Stars will be coming. And yes, of course, the next update will follow hopefully in roughly half a year. And if you have any tips or suggestions also regarding that energy technology, should I, should I even upgrade it more? Yeah, let me know. Also, let me know about the uh, Light Fighter versus the Dead Star uh, issue. If that's the case, then I have to think about something else. I'm not sure yet. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So, okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me on this channel. Also, uh, give it a like uh, if you like this um, video. Subscribe also, you know, just, you know, hit that little button, subscribe. It's just a little thing for you, but for me, it means so much. Okay, guys, thank you very much. And... Uh, I see you guys again in half a year. See you. Bye-bye.